What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm gonna be using the Vine Sauce ROM Corruptor on some Nintendo 64 games. Let's do this shit. Well, Link's being dragged behind a horse. So he must have been caught by a group of cowboys while doing something mischievous. I'm sure glad I slept on the floor instead of that awful bed. Just look at that shit, it's just a Lincoln log with a bedsheet over it. This floor is comfortable as fuck. I feel excellent. Just a little morning stretch and I'll be ready for action. Oh fuck, this is a recipe for disaster. Sorry is just gonna run over here and hurl a Pokeball at me. Well hello there to you too, Miss Saria. I say we just demolish the ground, get rid of it entirely, who needs it? And I must say, Link has a textbook movement position here. He looks like a boomerang that's perpetually stuck in the air but can still be sentient. And then take a pop quiz on fucking yourself. Why can't I open this chest? Damn it, why is this so difficult? Oh, there we go, I can read the sign. Just gotta get right up on it and give it a hug so I can make out the words. Oh, read it again. Alright, let me open this fucking chest. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. Incredible cinematography. This is the director's cut Ocarina of Time. Step aside, Commander Shitty. Invisible. Alright, well, not invisible, I guess. I don't know how the fuck he saw me. I am invisible. I mean, he could see me, but he couldn't stop me, but... I don't know how the fuck he saw me. Because I'm not even on the fucking screen. He must have, like, infrared goggles or... Some type of really advanced shit. Either way, he is a qualified guardian of the forest. Oh, there I am. Just taking a little extreme lounge in the sky. Just a little snooze. Saria, please help me. I don't know what the fuck you're saying to me, Saria. Speak English, not hieroglyphics. Just please give me some assistance here. I look like a fucking floating bowling ball with a malfunctioning television for a face. Damn it, sorry, at least give me a blowjob or something to compensate for this. And stop flying through my face, Navi, damn it. You're making a difficult situate. You stole my face, you sack of shit. That shit reminds me of the time I went diving for pirate treasure. I'm having a little trouble understanding you, Grandpa Lou. You must be going through a tunnel. The reception's a little fuzzy. Oh, what the fuck is this? Is this one of those songs that's supposed to make it rain? There's Grandpa Lou transmitting a message to the aliens, telling him it's time to invade. What a sick fuck. Well, I guess that's the end of his story about the pirate ship. And what a riveting tale it was. I guess Tommy's trying to fly away here. He's not really getting off the ground, though. Well, I gained two cookies, but I guess two cookies was too much for the game to handle. Fucking crashed. Holy shit, Tommy. You all right there, Sprout? This bastard just got re-atomized. But the game must go on. Three spaces, let's rock and roll. I realize you've fallen into a black hole, Tommy Pickles, but we've got a board game to play here. Goodness fucking gracious, look at Chunky Kong in the back, he's turning into a seagull. What is happening to that poor fellow? I tell you, I remember the song pretty well, but I don't remember the animation being this crisp and fluid. I feel like Donkey Kong should be here. Oh, there he is. He was just exploring a different dimension. And the sing-along lyrics are a little behind the actual audio, so if you're trying to sing along, be wary of that. Oh, fuck! Oh my goodness, Donkey Kong is giving us the serving treatment right now! Holy shit! I feel like Donkey Kong just shaved my ass cheeks with those moves. Might just slide out of my fucking chair here now. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking some river dancing action. Oh yeah, take that, you fucking green mutant. I tell you, the choreography here is outstanding. It could easily win every award at the choreography competitions. Just look at those feet! Look at those fancy feet! Look at that shit! Look at that fancy feet! You find me feet like that, and I'll tell you, you found a damn good pair of feet. This is the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Well, now this abomination left the game, probably to enter some poor soul's nightmares. Oh, there he is. Look at this fucking creature from the Dagoba swamps. It's basically a demented piece of spaghetti. This is just absolutely disturbing. I don't know what's going on here. Alright, so Diddy Kong seems to be locked in a fierce battle against his hat. 
So this is where the idea for Beyblades came from, huh? Yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like when I go to a club. It's a beautiful 2006 Torino day. You're watching Ski Jumping Pairs. It's the K120 Finals, you son of a bitch. I hope you're ready for some intense skiing action. Weather conditions are optimal. Air temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Snow temperature is negative 8 degrees Celsius. Humidity 85%. Wind. Well, who the fuck cares about wind anyway? I couldn't read it fast enough. Here's our first contestants. Aki, Kuratsamaki, and Mika of the same name. That was a good start right here. Nice steady pace going around Mach 3. What is this unorthodox move? The battering ram? Do you really think you're going to win the competition with such a rookie's move? This isn't the junior competition here. This is the big leagues, you assholes. Goodness gracious, they're going for it. Ima Nanji Deska. Oh, fuck. That is a tough pill to swallow. They really wanted the gold, and they were that close. Let's go to our instant replay to see what went wrong. Oh, well, there you go. There's your problem right there. That poor man died in midair. This is looking like it's going to be a spectacular move. Good heavens, it's the droopy titty technique. Can they stick to landing? They pulled it off. They have just executed one of the most complicated moves in all of ski jumping pairs. Let's see that again. Take note of the skier's ability to simulate what a titty would look like if it was hanging from those skis. If we put an elderly woman's titty on those skis and put it side by side with this footage right here, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. USA has had a rather lackluster performance up to this point, but can they turn it around here? He has released the cargo. Looks like impact is imminent. Oh shit. The Turtle Rider. That is a move you'll only read about. I feel as though we're privileged to have seen it in action. Ladies and gentlemen, they are holding hands. I have seen this before, I've just never seen it on skis. This is a true display of friendship. Why the fuck is that an impressive trick? That one on the right's rather bloated. Oh, he's fighting with his stomach. This is some total recall shit. I must have missed the, uh, Hanging Dwarf the first time around. I'm glad the replay's there to shed some light on what actually happened in case you missed it. The ball is in USA's court. They're going for the mechanical bull. They're losing control. They're losing control. Yep. That's gonna cost them some points. If you're gonna ride the bull, you've gotta be ready for its horns. A lesson learned the hard way for USA. Now their families are gonna have to be executed. Good sharp nipples, do you know what you're seeing right now? That right there is the lazy teenager. That is a move you could only dream of seeing, and you're witnessing it firsthand. It's the lazy teenager with a twist. This is the firmest erection I've ever had in my life. Ah no to wa din wa bongo nan des ka? Look at this shit using their skis as noodles. Fucking innovative. Ladies and gentlemen, watch out, a helicopter has just entered the battlefield. Keep your head tucked inside your ass cheeks if you want to avoid decapitation. False alarm, they're out of here. You know, recently I've been trying to learn Japanese so I can understand some of these Japanese games I play a little bit better, but I really don't think any amount of Japanese will help me understand why they just took off like a fucking helicopter. I guess what they say is true. A bird in the hand is worth more than two in the bush. You've got Mr. Olympia holding up a contortionist like fucking Atlas holding up the earth. This is remarkable. What in the crusty anus is going on here? Is he giving him reverse CPR? Oh shit! Oh, he's a fish out of water. Alright, I understand. Oh, two fish out of water. It's the fish out of water move! How could I be so naive? My sincerest of apologies, gentlemen. Let's see this again, though. Just look at that one man taking a face full of dick like a champ, just getting pummeled by a wiener. And he just powers through it. Just look at this. Look at the slow motion assault. Just the crotch destruction of that man's face. And yet they still go on to execute the perfect fish out of water technique. This is the epitome of a Cinderella story. Nobody would have expected anyone to use such a high risk, high reward move in this competition. Nostradamus couldn't have predicted this fucking shit. These two are taking the game of who's got your nose to a new level. Yeah, the therapist seen it a million times. At least they're kind of mixing it up. He's using the ski as like a dildo massaging device, so at least that's a little different, but... 
At its at its truest, it's still just the therapist technique. Oh wait a second! What the fuck? I've made a miscalculation. I think this it is. This isn't the therapist, nor the dildo massager, nor a combination of the two. This is the legendary ear cleaner. Just look, he's using the other ski as a Q-tip. Fuck the wax fax. This is old school ear cleaning. USA is up again. Let's see what they. Oh, two of them are hugging the skis. There's a Smurf. The Smurf is trying to fly. It's the Pidgeotto. Oh, never mind. This is a. Uh, this is more like a bird with its wings clipped. Those two gentlemen are taking a walloping right now. They are showing that snow who the boss is. The expectations are high for these two competitors. They came into this competition as the front runners, the favorites to win, the number ones to beat, the shits to eat. Oh my fucking goodness, they were hit by a predator missile. Well, there's no point in crying over spilled milk. Oh, he just bailed out. Oh, I, I understand, I understand. They needed, needed less weight so they could get more altitude out of their rocket boosters on the back of their skis. It makes sense now. Especially considering the smaller gentleman is shitting out flames that's boosting them even higher. This this is pretty much how it works in real life too. Oh, there goes his fuel tank. It's outlived its usefulness. Well, at least he's waving goodbye to it. You know, it's not like it's a human being, so that's fine. They're really high up here though, you know, it's pretty good altitude. If this doesn't get first place, I really don't know what will. He's on his way to... To Mars right now. He will be our ambassador to the aliens, and I couldn't think of a more qualified person for it. I tell you, these two really made a quick recovery after being shot by a cannon. What are they making here? What is this, field goal? Somebody kicked the field goal! They've got it all set up for you. Oh, it's a pair of glasses. Oh, shit. That's a statement right there. That's telling the spectators, hey, if you don't think this is groovy, then you need glasses, you box of sperm. Look at the process of making the glasses. It looks like Transformers going from a car to a Transformer. Oh, the fuck's going on here? Oh, it's some football. All right, yeah, go long. Good pass, good pass. The defense is asleep. Nice catch. I think he got both feet inbounds. That looks like a touchdown to me, ref. That's six on the board. All right. Looks like that extra point's good, too. That's seven on the board. The kicker really didn't give a fuck about that poor gentleman playing the ball. That poor guy can go squirt himself for all the kicker cares. Here we go. Matt Schaub is back in the pocket. Good protection. It's a long bomb. It's a bullet pass. He's got a robotic arm. Jerry Rice is going deep, you know, because Jerry Rice plays for the Texans these days. All right, Jerry Rice is going for it. It's a nice catch. He gets both feet in bounds, maintains possession. The kicker is coming all the way from Uzbekistan for the extra point, so that's up and it's good. And that's pretty much how the Texans won the Super Bowl. Good afternoon, viewer. You're watching the Face Trainer Basic Training Instructional Video brought to you by Radiancy and No-No. It's in the game. I'm your host, Shitter. This device is what you get when beauty and diarrhea amalgamate. Before you begin your abstract expedition through the human psyche using the Face Trainer, you must first learn the basic steps. The first step is learning the surprise puppy dog technique. This move is integral to the face trainer. Simply open your mouth as though you'll be bobbing for apples shortly, then look straight up into the sky. The final product should look as though you've just been hit by a fucking taser. Now that you've mastered the basics, it's time to move on to some advanced training, so strap in, you son of a bitch. Now listen, just because you paid $200 for this poorly designed Power Rangers helmet doesn't mean you're entitled to a good face training. You need to put that work in. If you don't put that work in, the only thing you're training is my patience. I'm not gonna shit here and listen to your piss at the toilet seat. The under eye, smoother. Once you're wearing the face trainer and are thoroughly embarrassed, you can begin by putting your fingers in this position. Think of it as though you're about to use the solar flare attack from Dragon Ball Z. Then initiate the surprise puppy dog technique. These two working in cahoots are guaranteed to drastically reduce your self-esteem. Isn't that wonderful? Let's have a recap of what the fuck you just witnessed. You saw the surprised puppy dog, fingers in place, head back, bring lower lid up. I believe that's supposed to be lip, must be a typo, whoopsie. And the puppy dog face. The puppy dog face is not to be confused with the surprised puppy dog. As I'm sure you're well aware, those are two entirely different emotions. You can go fuck yourself if you think they're similar. This is a human face without skin. The smile line smoother. 
Start by going into your surprise puppy dog stance, then put your finger under your nose and in front of your lips. You should look like you're telling a noisy giant to please be quiet while he's in the library because you're trying to read. Then give your finger a little old smooch. This exercise targets both your willpower and your will to live. This is the ultimate form of endurance and should be just what you need to get that perfect facial training. I'm still here. As you watch this gentleman practice the smile line smoothing technique, I'd like to share a few testimonials with you from our happy customers. The first one. This is shit. I like shit. Therefore, I like this. That one's from me. Here's another. If I could only take one article of clothing to a club, I'd take this. Because then I could wander into the women's bathroom, pretend to be a toilet seat, and have a bunch of women sit on my face. That one is also from me, and that's all the testimonials we have. Skinless face again, folks. The chin and neck toner. Now that you realize purchasing the face trainer was probably a mistake, it's time to punish yourself for it. Put your hands in a position that simulates strangling yourself, then look up to the sky and perform a series of complex ululations. If you have managed to survive the chin and neck toning procedure, then congratulations! You have fucking trained your platysma. You gave that bitch a workout. And you've trained your sternocleidomastoids, also known as the neck titties. The eye opener and forehead smoother. This is the most difficult technique because for this you have to read the mind of an alien. This is no easy task, I can assure you of that. Now as you can see, she was unsuccessful in contacting extraterrestrial beings on that attempt. However, this does not daunt her. She still gives it a try, and you should too. You should try the face trainer now. Train your face, train your senses, train your ass cheeks. Use it as a Halloween costume and say you're a Ninja Turtle. I don't fucking care, just order this. You could be sitting there not training your shit, or you could put this bitch on and train the fuck out of your shit. Pick your phone up right now and call the face training yippee 800 number and order this. The ball's in your court, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna ride the train that takes you to work? Or are you gonna ride the train that takes your face to work? You get that pup pussy away from me right now. I'm not setting one paw on that shit. Stop strangling me, please! No! No, oh, this looks like a lovely blanket. Thank you- Oh fuck, it's a trap! Why am I strapped to this human's hip like a gun in a holster? My freedom has been stripped from me. Please help me. Thank heavens you brought an umbrella for yourself. I'll just be dangling here getting pulverized by the rain, snow, or hail, whatever the fuck this bad special effect is trying to represent. I'm going to take the meanest shit this world has ever seen. You'll try and escape the omphalos of my ass explosion, but since I'm strapped to your hip with the pup pussy, you won't be able to elude the Mephitus from my asshole. Tell me who's the victim now. What do you type, like four words an hour? Am I Richie? Is that my name? I mean, I guess it is. I'm getting a shitty present. This is the exact opposite of what I wanted for my birthday. Fuck me. Are we trading pup pussies like Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Is that the new thing here? Behold, a poorly designed product. Let me just stand on this puppy forklift. Yahoo! Be strong, my son. We are dealing with the ultimate evil. Remember your training. Don't listen to them. Don't feel the flow. If you feel the flow, the earth crumbles. We must endure to ensure the safety of the earth. Nothing will make us quit. Not even a poorly executed titty helicopter dance move.